Hey, good afternoon to you. Mark again here, Weatherman Plus, with your tropical update for this afternoon. Matter of fact, I'm showing a pretty major one, guys. It has just been announced that this is going to be a Cat 4 hurricane, definitely. Matter of fact, it even has a good potential to be a Cat 5. It is going over the deepest, warmest part of the waters in the Gulf on the way to Louisiana with no shear. This has a great potential to be a Cat 5 then maybe downgrade back to a four before landfall. Still, it's gonna be catastrophic. Please share this video on social media. Help alert others, let them know that they need to get to a shelter. They need to evacuate. This is not something you wanna ride out and see how it goes. This is gonna be just like a Katrina, if not worse, guys, because it has a potential to be a Cat 5. Please share this video. Please hit like on this video if you're liking these tropical updates. This is a very serious matter. Please take this seriously. So far, it's been predicted to get up to 140 miles per hour winds, and that can increase. Matter of fact, it's showing to be a Cat 4 by 1 a.m. on the 29th, all the way to 1 p.m. That's not going to stay a Cat 4. In between that time, it's going to be a Cat 5, then go back down to a Cat 4. But never been here before. Hello, <laughs> my name is Mark. I do upload every single day. I even do a tropical update every single day. Just not Friday from sundown to Saturday from sundown, but that's Sabbath. But I will be honoring Sabbath tomorrow, and I will be uploading to make sure everybody stays safe during this very hectic time. This is coming within a couple of days. I also don't know the exact time yet, but I also know it will be a very long one. I will be live streaming this event. It's been a couple of years since I live streamed. I used to live stream every day for years, so it's no new thing for me. I will make sure you're safe. I will be here for you. And if you never heard of who I am, believe me, I've done this last year as well. I've been talking about this being a major hurricane for two weeks now. My community has known about this for two weeks. It was the same way last year. Matter of fact, I was the only one talking about this for two weeks now, people just now started getting on board. I will make sure you're safe. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that bell because I will be here for you. Now, in this video, I'm going to update you on all your warnings and what you need to watch out for as well as what Noah is saying. That way you know exactly what's going on. Please, if you can evacuate, evacuate. If you can get to a shelter, please get to a shelter. This is not a drill. 5 p.m. update it is moving northwest at 15 miles per hour. The pressures is 985 millibars. It is an 80 miles per hour hurricane already. Here is Noah's latest statement. Life-threatening storm surge and hurricane conditions are expected to continue through tonight in portions of western Cuba, including the Isle of Youth, where hurricane warning is in effect. Life-threatening heavy rains, flash flooding, and mudslides are expected across Jamaica, the Cayman Islands, and western Cuba, including the Isle of Youth. There is a danger of life-threatening storm surge inundation Sunday along the coast of Louisiana and Mississippi within the storm surge warning area. Extremely life-threatening inundation of 10 to 15 feet above ground level is possible within the area from Morgan City, Louisiana to the mouth of the Mississippi River. Ida is expected to be an extremely dangerous major hurricane when it reaches the coast of Louisiana. Hurricane force winds are expected Sunday in portions of the hurricane warning area along the Louisiana coast including metropolitan New Orleans with potentially catastrophic wind damage possible where the core of Ida moves on shore. And that's where it's pretty much like a saw blade, just like how Michael was for Florida, just a saw blade just ripping through everything it touches. Now, so far you have hurricane warnings right here for the same place it's been for Cuba. But now you have hurricane warnings for the coast of Louisiana as well as Hurricane Watch. It's predicted to still be a hurricane when it comes off of Cuba and by 2 p.m. Saturday for tomorrow it will be a major hurricane all the way until 2 a.m. on Sunday the next day. All the way to 2 p.m. on Sunday the next day. So for 24 hours this thing is going to be a major hurricane. I guarantee you it will not stay a 3 or 4. This will go up to a 4, go up to a 5, Go back down to a four and hit as a major hurricane. Storm surge is still the same as this morning. Two to four feet, three to five feet, six to nine feet has grown a little bit from an intercoastal city to Morgan City. 10 to 15 feet now from Morgan City all the way to the mouth of Mississippi, then a seven to 11 feet all, over, all the way around to Ocean Springs. Then it's going up to four to seven feet from Ocean Springs to Mississippi, Alabama border, then two to four feet from there to Alabama border, Florida border. The risk for flash flooding has increased. All this red right here is the moderate level. You are not in high, not in the pink, but you are in a great risk for flash flooding in all of this red. If you can get to a storm shelter, get to a storm shelter. If you can evacuate, please evacuate. I recommend going west. Slight risk in this yellow right here and a marginal risk in this green for flash flooding. 
rainfall amounts has gone up one to two inches in the light green two to four inches in the dark green but now it's four to six inches in all this yellow six to ten inches in all this orange this red right here is 10 to 15 inches and all this pink right here is 15 to 20 inches of rainfall that's mostly because new orleans is under sea level it's it used to be a swamp they dried it up when they dried it up the land went down and it became below sea level so it's really below sea level for new orleans there is going to be a lot of flooding for that area but you've seen the storm surge amounts of who's going to get it and this right here is a storm surge watch from mobile a storm surge watch all the way to beaumont by lake charles and all this bright pink right here is storm surge warning for those amounts that i've told you and so far the rainfall amounts is going to bring it all the way up and it is going to affect all the way to the northeast this is going to be a very long system and the heaviest amount is still 17 to 18 inches and it has grown right here for new orleans even this dark purple right here is 14 to 16 inches this whole area is going to be massive flooding up to a foot and a half of flooding and all this outer area of light gray this is still 10 to 11 inches of flooding this is pretty much for the whole west bank all the way up to six inches is the edge of this brown that you see going across all the way to the florida panhandle and then you have three to five inches in all this dark red the new intensity guidance shows that literally in 24 hours we are more than likely going to be looking at a cat 2 or a cat 3 major hurricane and it will intensify most models agree to a cat 4 major hurricane and i even believe it will get to the edge of a cat 5 and go back down to a 4 you don't have any time to spare guys you really don't you have up to 48 hours before it's on landfall with all these winds and all this rains and it even has one that shows it could go even tighter and it's just one and that's because as it's intensifying it could pull itself tighter on the turn that's how it is when you're going stronger and faster and so far as far as the winds the strongest i could find is sunday by 4 p.m 140 miles per hour wind gusts coming with this storm this is going to be very much catastrophic please i can't say this enough if you can evacuate please evacuate this is the euro it has it coming off as a 989 and literally 24 hours later is down to a 963 guys that is 26 millibars drop that is definitely obamagenesis obamagenesis is 24 millibars in 24 hours category four major hurricane 130 miles per hour winds to 156 miles per hour winds catastrophic damage will occur well-built frame homes can sustain severe damage with loss of most of the roof structure and or some exterior walls most trees will be snapped or uprooted and power poles down fallen trees and power poles will isolate residential areas power outages will last weeks to possibly months most of the area will be uninhabitable for weeks or months and if people can't get to you, you you're in a real threat right there so make sure that you have at least one gallon of water per day per person in your home and an update still again on that second wave guys that we also been talking about for a couple of weeks it looks like after this comes on landfall it still tries to come in it's getting a little further into the western caribbean but still the cold front knocks it back so so far that next wave will not make it the cold front hits it when you look on simulated infrared satellite you can see as it comes across the gulf it does get a good center of the eye right before landfall and it stays strong while on landfall that is a very strong hurricane right there where you can see that good formation of the eye that's coming in the last couple of hours this will be a cat 4 landfall now so far they have it at its maximum as a 138 miles per hour winds with 167 miles per hour wind gust this is going to be a very serious event this is going to be a very catastrophic event i can't ask you enough guys please share this on social media please help me reach others people need to leave people need to get to the shelter people do not need to ride this out if you don't use social media just hit the like button thank you so much for helping out now there's a certain passage i want to read tonight just to strengthen you a little bit give you a little bit of love from our father god bless all of you please if you can leave please leave that is the best solution isaiah 41 verse 10 through 14. fear thou not 
for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will strengthen thee. Yes, I will help thee. Yes, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. Behold, all they that were incensed against thee shall be ashamed and confounded. They shall be as nothing. And they that strive with thee shall perish. Thou shalt seek them and shalt not find them. Even them that contended with thee, they that war against thee shall be as nothing and as a thing of naught. For I, the Lord thy God, will hold thy right hand, saying unto thee, Fear not, I will help thee. Fear not, thou worm Jacob, and ye men of Israel. I will help thee, saith the Lord, and thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. Amen. God bless you all. May God be with you all and your families. Please help alert others. I can't say this enough. I will see you early in the morning. I don't know what time the live stream will be yet. I just know I will be doing it for you. I will be here to help you, whatever you need, for the whole time. God bless you all. All glory does go to Yahweh, God of Jacob. And he's in control of all this. All this is supposed to happen. Everything's just how it's supposed to be. Fear not. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus.